In this video, we're going to continue to explore sculpture, mainly concentrating on what we can do with Object 3. In another video, we looked at Object 1. So, to start with, let's go to the default sound from the tutorial, because that's a good place to start. And in the other video, we went through how we can use Object 1 to put energy into the system. Now, what we can often do in a real instrument is disturb it in some way. And we can do that by damping it or putting something on it or making the string vibrate and hit it. So we can do similar sort of things with Object 3. So I'll turn Object 3 on. Let's move our pickups to one spot somewhere around here. Oh, we've got bouncing coming in here. Let's send in our basic impulse from Object 1. Let's put it down here somewhere. Now, Object 3 is around here. I'm going to move Object 2 out of the way. It's not turned on. We'll just move it out of the way. Now, Currently, it's got bouncing. That was the default one. Let's go to the first one, Disturb. So this is like putting something next to the string and having it hit it. And we can move the position. So we're getting those harmonics emphasized. We move things around. Again, you can hear that the disturbance is going away when the key is turned off, so I'm going to turn on to always. But we could have it so we only want the disturbance when it's turned off. But I'm going to use always for now. Let's just try moving it around. If we change. As you can see, you have to explore with sculpture. You don't know exactly what you're going to get. You have to mess around and see what happens. You use these ideas about putting energy into the string, the sort of way the energy is altered in the string, and disturbances as ideas to help us and guide us. But we don't know what's going to happen. Let's put in a two-sided disturbance. That means that the string is hitting it both uh, in both vibration modes, both sides of the string. Make it more clangy. Sometimes it will blow up. <laughs> Move it. Hmm, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see what happens when we move this and do this. So now we can do some science fiction soundtracks. Okay, let's try something else. Let's go in bouncing. So now an object is bouncing on the string at these different positions. By moving it around, we're getting different harmonics emphasized. See what happens when we change this. Uh, bouncing slower. Of course, we still haven't changed our what the way we're putting energy in. I still on an impulse. If we were to do something like this, we get some quite complex interactions. Let 
Okay, let's try something else. A boundary. Let's put, go back to impulse. Going extreme, nothing happens. Let's put a mass on the string. Too much, maybe. Let's go back to a harmonic sound. Getting a drop in the pitch there. Let's put a dampening on it. We could put this in the middle, get a harmonic effect. Pick it. Experimenting around, let's turn the resolution up. Exploring different sort of options. Let's put, uh, say, a dampening. Let's move it to the end. Pickups reinforces different harmonics so we can hear it. Let's just experiment a little bit. Let's go back to Nasty glitches. So lots of interactions happening here. So object three is disturbing the vibration of the string somehow. Object one is putting energy into the string somehow. And they're interacting in complex ways.
lost down a bit, so it dies away. Okay, so we can see that you have to explore and you can get a lot of different sorts of things happening by putting energy in with object one and taking or energy out or disturbing the vibration with object three. Object two has got everything. It's got everything in object one and everything from object three. So you can add extra things. So for example, if I wanted to add a little bit of a blowing sound to it, we've got a strike coming, putting energy in, and then we can add a bit of blowing. have less strike, more blow, too much, we can take some of the energy out, get a nice blend there, maybe put some bouncing in. Maybe add some bowing instead. Okay, so that's the basic physical modeling synthesizer. We can always distort it with the wave shaper, we can put delay in, we can add some resonances from the body EQ. There's lots of nice models here. Let's put in a ukulele model randomly. Oh, let's put in a Dobro model. Or a simple low, mid, high EQ, so it can mid up a little bit, you can move it down a touch. I select some harmonics. Add some delay, or add some tube-like distortion. So, there are lots of possibilities. As I keep on saying, with sculpture, you need to explore it and just find what you get. As soon as you've got something you like, save it. Okay, in the next video I'll talk about some of the modulation possibilities.